Now let's go back out to the scene. A reporter, Garrett Hake, has just arrived there for us. And Garrett, I know from watching this earlier as it developed, it, it looked like that car was actually full of gasoline. Garrett joins us on the phone now. What can you tell us about what you've learned from being there? Well, Joey, I'm just across the highway from the building that this car was in when it exploded, and you can definitely tell something horribly went horribly wrong inside this building. Several of the walls are blown off. You can see the top of the building is completely blackened by smoke earlier. I spoke to a witness at one of the homes nearby who said this is enough to wake him up from a nap around 2 o'clock this afternoon and saw just that thick, black, billowing smoke blowing out from inside that building. We're told by the company 16 or 17 employees were inside, and at first there was that confusion over just how many people were injured, although they are now saying six people injured, including the two who Lexi mentioned taken to the University of Kansas Hospital. Those other injuries are thought to be less severe, things like smoke inhalation. But uh, just getting here now, hoping to continue to gather information. But I can say at least that the fire is out and the scene has calmed down significantly from earlier this afternoon. Jody